Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to try and demonstrate how you can use an iTunes playlist uh, to put that into your car and listen to the music within there. I can't find any simple way in which iTunes lets you do this. Um, and there is some freeware and payware which does this intermediate step for you. Uh, but without the need for anything else other than iTunes and Windows Media Player on a PC, it is possible to set this up uh, for your car or for any other device. So let's look at this um, iTunes playlist which I've created. And what you also need is a USB stick which you're going to hopefully leave uh, free uh, in uh, and the one that you're going to use for your music. So I've got a completely clean, clean one there. First thing you need to do is go to your playlist and change um, how you view this. You go up here to the menu, view options, and instead of viewing it as a playlist, view it as songs. Okay, you can close that. Let's minimize this and put it side by side to the uh, to the USB stick uh, that we've got to throw it in. Now, surprisingly enough, you have to create grab all the all the songs in the playlist and then just drag them onto your USB stick. Now what that does is copies just those items. Obviously if you did that with your entire music library you'd be there for a long time. Uh, and the faster your USB stick the faster this is going to go. <coughs> so the first thing you have to do is obviously that. Just copy all the music that's on that playlist onto the USB stick. And this is not the playlist itself. This is not the iTunes playlist. This is just the songs that are in that playlist. So the next step we have to do is create a um, actual playlist that you can export. Now because you may have um, different playlists that you want to play on your USB stick, the location may change and you may have different folders where you want to put this in. But let's assume everything is in the root folder. The next thing you have to do is open Windows Media Player. Not um, VLC. <clears throat> let's put that so that you can see this onto. Now, <clears throat> go to your library. Okay. Not your library that you normally have, because this would be the same thing as everything else that's in there. And go to Manage Libraries, go to Music. And here we're going to add, take away anything else that you may have, add the USB stick in your music library to just include that folder. Nothing else. Okay. And what your media player will do is show you uh, the music that is in that media player. So it's updating it at the moment. And there we go. <clears throat> Let it do that process. And obviously, it will take some time to do so. You then create a playlist in Windows Media Player. And it is very much the same. You sort it in whichever way you want, by title. Um, you then grab all of it and do the same thing. Push it to your right. Time flies by. Okay. And this, you'll see it says unsaved list car playlist or whatever it is you want to call it. Okay. The last thing you have to do is at the top here, oops sorry, um, top here, save list as. Go to your USB drive and it's already called car playlist. And you can save it either as a Windows Media Player list or a M3U playlist. 
Now, for the Defender, both of those work. But I'm going to leave that as a WPL, which I know works, and I'm quite happy with that. Overwrite it, and that's it. You can now take that USB stick, stick it in the front console of your Defender, and it will play. That's it. Simple enough.